Montego Bay based non profit organization Sarah's Children swiftly responded with compassion and support in the aftermath of a harrowing incident. On that fateful Saturday, August 12, 10 families were left destitute after gangsters callously set their homes on fire. The heart wrenching plight of these families tugged at the members' heartstrings, prompting them into action. Undeterred by the daunting task ahead, members of Sarah's children embarked on a mission to alleviate the suffering of these displaced families. With a heartwarming gesture, they extended financial aid of $10,000 to each family, offering a glimmer of hope in their darkest hour. A testament to their commitment, the organization promised an additional $15,000 to each family, delivering on this promise without delay. Beyond monetary assistance, Sarah's children show their unwavering solidarity by generously donating clothing worth an impressive $250,000. This thoughtful gesture not only provided essential items, but also conveyed a message of empathy and care. Dollis Campbell, a dedicated volunteer representing the organization, vividly described the scene of devastation that had moved them to take action. Children, we're a non-profit organization based in Montego Bay. Yes, and you are here today. Tell and we're here today because when we saw the news, and saw what happened to these families here. We were so moved, all of our members moved to know that in 2023 in Jamaica, you cannot go to your bed and sleep comfortably. And we just want to let you know that our sympathies are with each and every family here today. You know, we're, we're, we're really saddened by the situation and we know that everyone is working to make your life the, come back to normal speaking of getting your house back in order and getting sorted out that your children can start school come September. There's a lot of children that are involved in this. This was a very reckless, heartless act, you know, and we really feel, feel for every family member. We're very, very sorry. There's not much that we can do at this time, but today that we're here, we brought um, clothing, value of over 250000 and we also have some cash to give you, okay? And we're going to get your account numbers because tomorrow we're going to be sending some more cash, and we're committed to helping you until you're back on your feet again, okay? And we're asking other organizations, you know, in Jamaica, um, overseas, to reach out and help, to touch. This could have, been any, could have been any one of us, could have been our family members, right? I look here and I'm looking at my grandson, you know? So Annie and all of you, we're here for you and we'll continue to serve you. Sarah's children mainly look out for senior citizens and children. And we're here today to just let you know that we're very, very sorry for what happened and we sympathize and we are here to help. All right, want to give you a little cash today because we know you have to buy some food and necessary items that you might need and more will be coming. Okay. Um, may right. I, hello, my lady. What, what amount of cash do you plan um, to handle? We, we are committed to 250000 Today we have 10000 in each envelope and tomorrow they'll be getting another 15000 Right, we have persons like Scoops. Jamaica, Devon House Ice Cream that assisted us, um, Tony Turner out of New York that annually has a fundraiser and helps Sarah's children. Um, sometimes they send barrel of clothing, etc. So it's from all of those donations that we're able to do everything today, which is a value of 500000 And we're committed to assisting. Little, where is Omari? Where we saw him, he was so moved that he was going into the rubble to try and find his tablet. And we have a tablet coming. It will be delivered on Friday for, for, for the lady. Okay, Omari? <laughs> yes, that is, that is, your, that, that is yeah. your son, yes. All right, you're gonna get your tablet on Friday. Okay, baby? All right. Oh, there's a young man. I don't know his name. He's five years old and he lives in Gregory Park. His house was one of those homes that was firebombed by criminals in this country <laughs> and I thought you know 
it's best to get him back his tablet. So I'm getting this tablet for him. I'm sending it on to Gregory Park and it feels good. Young man, whatever your name is, I want you to know you are deserving of your tablet. It is worth noting that the tablet was delivered as promised. In an era where acts of kindness and unity are needed more than ever, Sarah's Children stands as an inspiring example of an organization that not only acknowledges the struggles of others, but actively engages in meaningful action to alleviate their pain. And that was Cover Story. Tune in again next time for another edition of Cover Story. In the meantime, like, subscribe, share, and comment.